Hey guys, welcome back to Web Dementors YouTube channel and you're watching JavaScript series for beginners. Well, in this video, we're gonna see something different from what we have been seeing in the series. It's called as functions, writing functions in JavaScript. So if you've been writing functions and methods in various other programming languages, then you might feel this, okay, functions. But for people who didn't do any kind of programming or someone new to these kind of functions, you know, and then it'd be like, wow, maybe I'm not sure so how to write functions let me actually remove this uh, while loop keep the ABC let it be there it looks nice now how to write functions well write function yes it is function space the name of the function that you want to write so let me in a my underscore function or my function so this is the actual way you write functions and JavaScript. So the other thing is going to be well nothing but rest of the statements that you want to write inside a function. So let me actually use the console log again. This is the function my function. Now you have written a function now. Uh, if I execute the code it has no effects. You can see that it has no effects. The reason is we have written the function, but how to actually call it? You have to call the function. You have to, you know, call a function in order to make it execute. You know, none of these codes will be executed by JavaScript if you leave them alone. So you have to call that function. How to call that function? Well, simple. Just call that function. That's it. You write the function there. With this semicolon which is not necessary but I believe it is necessary so run it you can see that this is the function my function now let's actually go back I don't want to actually use the console log, log in here let's actually remove it okay I want to get a value you know I have to get values from my function which I can use okay so now I need to get a value from my function which I in turn use my console.log to print it out to my console. Now that is where the return statement comes in handy. So the return returns the value that you want to send it from your function. So if you've been writing programming languages, you know, any of the programming languages, you know, like uh, C, C, Java, any programming languages, you probably will be knowing what is a function and then what is a return. Now if you don't know that then this is your first programming language. That return statement is the one that is going to return a value for a function. So anytime you run or anytime you write a return statement that is where you know the function gets completed. Anything you write after it will not get compiled. Got it? Hey, see this? you might think that this will get compiled but once the return statement in a function is called anything below that will not be compiled or executed sorry uh, no compilation uh, just execution so none of these lines see the lines below your return statement will not be com not compiled will not be executed I'm sorry again I'm just getting confused I'm sorry so this return statement is marking the end of your function. So anything beyond this, it's just a waste of line. So let's actually run this. You can see this is the function my function, which has been returned by your function. Okay, uh, the function my function returned the value. This is the function my function, which is printed out by your console.log on line 11. So this is it. Main.js is the file and colon 11 is the line number so something that you have to know so line 11 this is where your value has been added to the console so makes sense isn't it so what else you can do with the function so let's actually remove it you know that this is not you know executed you've seen no hey in your console so this is fine let me keep this function okay this is going to be by function what happens if you kind of like do this 
I'm sorry for that. Nice, isn't it? You just clearly printed out your entire function that you've written. This is not something that I will do every now and then, but this is something really useful if you are doing some kind of debugging and you have no idea where this function is. Now that is going to be where you want to use this. So once you start writing a hell of a lot of JavaScript code and uh, you write some functions which is there in some file, you don't know which file it is, but uh, you know that uh, like five files has been imported or added to your web page and uh, you don't want to check it like, okay, remove this file, remove this file, remove this file, remove this file. But all you want to do is that you want to know what is the lines, what are all the lines written in your function, then you can use this in order to print out your entire function. So this is handy if you are looking forward to debug a function that you have written somewhere and forgot where you written it. Not a good practice, but still a good hack that can save you a lot of times. So, that's the end of this video guys. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button and also share the video with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already. Please subscribe to the channel. Please guys. And then if you have any kind of comments, issues or feedbacks or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section or else you can contact me through the Facebook page, Twitter feed or Google Plus page. You can find the links for them in the description section. That's in the next video guys. Thank you for watching and please keep following the series. Thank you.